and it's 3 p.m. and before I start unpacking I'm going to go and do a food shop because I have no food at all and it will be dark soon and I just want to get it out of the way. Big bag and this bag and this suitcase. Also, I finally have an actual winter coat. So I got this for Christmas and now I'm nice and warm. Two little biscuits. So I'll eat these. Let's go. I just woke up after a very long nap. It's been a couple of days and I don't know. Recently I've been struggling with, I don't really know what I've been struggling with, but I think losing my entire routine, pretty much my university routine, my YouTube routine, my gym routine, even just eating unhealthily over Christmas really like messed me up and 
since I've been back, I've just been struggling with knowing what to do. And, you know, I think that's normal. I think when our environment changes, we can only adapt and there's no way of knowing how long that will take. But I have been journaling about it. This year's journal is blue. I still have last year's though to look back on. I also feel like I've not spoken to the camera in such a long time because I'd say it's been around two or three weeks since I actually filmed anything. I feel almost a disconnect with myself where I'm not really sure of who I am right now and I do think something that doesn't help is that when I read a book I find myself almost adopting the personality of the character. I don't do it consciously and I don't notice it most of the time. It's not like I completely change, but sometimes I find myself changing after I read a book. And I think I am processing what I've just read and experienced, but also, I don't know, how do I end that? Do I just need to read a new book to move on from it? <laughs> I just feel like I've got so much to discuss, but I can't do it all in one video. So yeah, I don't know. I have been thinking I would love to have a podcast, but the problem with that is I don't have any answers. I think if I made a podcast, it would just be me talking through things and not actually having any solutions or advice. It would just be me kind of incoherently rambling along. I have decided though that this year I want to share more journaling prompts and stuff like that on my Instagram so hopefully I can do some of that today, do some planning. Yesterday was a really weird day, I didn't really do anything because I felt so ungrounded and I think obviously I don't want to be stressed with work or anything but having suddenly no work to do with university and basically that is my whole life and I was kind of like, what do I do? I don't have anything to do. And then that also made me worry about what I'm gonna do after I graduate. If I feel this lost now, I can only imagine how I'll feel then. I know it will all be okay, so I'm just gonna try and keep going. And yeah, welcome to my video. My first vlog of 2022. I'm gonna get dressed and I wanted to make a coffee I've got some new coffee for Christmas. Um, I don't have milk, so I'm gonna get dressed, go on a little walk, buy milk, and then make my coffee. It feels almost redundant sharing it because I'm going to show you anyway, but yeah. This outfit is quite new for me. Um, this coat belonged to my brother, but he's in Australia, so he doesn't need it. This hoodie is secondhand from my sister, and I got these jeans for Christmas. They are from Wrangler, and they are quite low waisted. And then, same shoes as always. So yeah, I'm gonna go and buy some milk and go on a little walk.
know this is perhaps really predictable and I always do this but I really want pesto pasta and I've not had it in like two and a half weeks I swear I think I've not had it in ages and then suddenly I just want it so I'm going to make pesto pasta right now and then go on a walk and then come back and try and do some planning stuff I don't know there's kind of not much going on today I do actually have finals assignments immediately and then I start semester two immediately after that so there's gonna be a lot of uni vlogs I think but until then it's me my walks and my pesto pasta my sister bought me this book for Christmas it's literally just a pesto book and it's the same brand. Today is my final day of going to cafes and doing whatever I want but I'm feeling like myself again. Don't feel prepared for my assignments but I know it will be okay and I'll be in the library all day every day so I haven't really been wearing makeup for a few weeks maybe once or twice but normally when I'm here I wear it every day so I'm gonna try and do my makeup today just so I can feel a bit more like the version of myself that is in university so yeah today I will go to a cafe I was thinking of going to the cafe in Arkit I went there briefly yesterday and it was the most wonderful cafe the final step it looks really bright but it's not and then perfume. I'm going to pack my bag and then we will go. You can tell it's overcast today because it's like so dark in my room. Not the best weather, but I am used to it at this point. <laughs> Here is tote bag of the day. Umbrella, journal, pen, headphones, iPad, clip, purse and keys, some jewellery I'm going to wear, and my phone. I am just wearing black tank top, white shirt, loafers, and I'm gonna wear a coat obviously as well. I would wear that but I know I will get makeup on it so I'm gonna wear this one instead.
10pm. <laughs> I've been a very bad vlogger today, I'm afraid. I haven't really been on top of things and I don't know, I, I think sometimes you do just need a break and <laughs> I'm kind of in a weird place where I don't think I need a break because I've just had one. But I kind of think I just need some time to figure things out in my head and I don't really know what is wrong. I do not know what has been going on with me these days but I thought, you know, treating myself to go to a cafe and buying a coffee for myself, you know, I normally try and save money. I don't really want to spend a lot of money on eating out etc. I thought, you know, maybe it will help me feel better, but to be honest, I don't think it did. I kind of have spent the last few days almost as if I'm on a holiday and I've just kind of hung around all day, not doing very much. <laughs> My assignments come out tomorrow and I'm really just hoping that once I have something to work towards, I will feel more put together. But yeah, don't worry, like, I'm completely fine. There's no need to be alarmed. I just have these weird emotions and I don't really know what is going on. And I'm trying my best to just keep going. I mean, that's all you can do, really. I don't think there is any reason to be so harsh on yourself. We are all just humans and I'd say humans are inherently flawed. I put so much pressure on myself but I would never put that pressure on anyone else. I would, in fact, probably tell them to look after themselves and take a break and blah, 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 blah. So I know all these things I should do to look after myself, but I struggle to actually do them because I suppose some part of me thinks anyone else doing that, fair enough, yeah, good for them. I can understand and I can think we all need a break. But when it comes to me, I'm like, nah, no breaks for her. She can't do this, she can't do that. <laughs> so I've been doing some Japanese, just trying to ease back into learning. I'm doing some kanji. I had some noodles for dinner and I went to go to the gym and I decided just to not go because it just takes quite a lot of time. And especially if I want to take some time to myself, it does kind of cut into that. I will apologize for making a vlog that is perhaps less interesting or less well thought and put together. This is just an honest recollection of the last few days for me and I honestly don't think I could have managed to film any more or put any more thought into it, you know. Just want to be honest and fair to myself. This is what I've managed. We'll see how it comes together. <laughs> really gonna try and fix my sleep schedule. I've been sleeping at like 3, 4 a.m. Um, waking up at 10, so I've not really been having that much sleep either. I've also been thinking a lot about my future plans and I think the just even small chance that I'll get to travel is motivating me and also like with my learning Japanese, I think for a while I never really thought I'd actually be able to go because it's so expensive. But now I've realised like if I have that mindset, of course I won't go. I'm going to keep learning Japanese and then learn more languages and honestly I think the only reason I bother with language learning is because I want to be able to travel and communicate with people. I don't know, that means so much to me. So I don't know much about what's going on at all in life, in the future, in the present, but I do know what I want and I know I can just take small steps to work towards that. I don't have to always be making immense progress and, you know, getting loads of amazing productive stuff done and saving 99% of my money and blah 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 blah. Like I can just live a bit while also thinking about what I want and sort of just knowing that I'll figure it out eventually and it'll be fine. Makes me feel a lot better. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening tidying. It's such a mess in here. As always, I'm always saying that it's always a mess. It is. Do some dishes, journal. I've been 
writing some journal prompts to share on Instagram. I don't know if I showed that yesterday. I think I must have done, but I won't show everything because I don't want to do spoilers. But look at how much I wrote today. These are all separate bullet points of ideas of things I could share, like different prompts and stuff. I think perhaps I am rambling now. I feel like I'm not really following a clear train of thought and I'm not completing any sentences and I'm not making much sense. So maybe I should end the video here. Sorry I talked so much. I know this video perhaps was a little different than my normal vlog, maybe different vibes, but you know, I'm confused and maybe that will convey. The new year is a weird time and I hope whoever's watching is not feeling anything too bad. I'm gonna try and sort my life out a little bit and then get to work. Good night. I'll probably be awake for many more hours. I don't want to end the video without saying goodbye so. Moral of the story today is you should always try and extend yourself with the same love and forgiveness that you would give somebody else because I think it's very easy to be too harsh on yourself for no reason. I think we forget that we are just as human as everyone else, you know? Maybe that's just me. I don't think I'm very um, coherent right now. See you next time. Mm -hmm.